Hi and welcome to Simon Anderson Photography and today I'm going to be looking at the new Pergear protective case for the Philweld FW760 field monitor so stay tuned. Hi, welcome back. Uh, if you've seen some of my previous videos, um, some of you might know I've just bought myself um, a 7 inch field monitor uh, by Philweld, the FW760. Uh, I think it's a 1920 by 1080 uh, monitor which I can attach to my DSLR uh, because I've got one of the flippy screens that everyone wants for vlogging and everything. So, uh, yeah, so it works really well. Um, I left it on the side in the kitchen when it's not in use which isn't ideal I was worried about it getting damaged so I bought myself uh, a protective case which I'm going to show to you now and here it is it's the per gear protective case for uh, the fill world uh, FW760 well this one was for the FW759 I think it was but the 760 is virtually the same uh, and to be honest, even though it states it's for this particular f uh, field monitor, as long as it's around seven, eight inches or below, you can pretty much put in there. Um, and it's, it looks pretty good, it's pretty solid. But first of all, I'm going to read a couple of stats on it first. And uh, it's got the hard EVA outer shell, and it's water repellent, which is really good. And it's got a built-in mesh zippered pocket inside, a holding belt, zippered closure provide all-around protection. It's designed for a range of devices and accessories, so not just a monitor, you can put in batteries, chargers, cables, adapters, various monitors, or even LED video lights, which I never thought of, that's a good one, and, and more devices. Uh, inside it comes with cutout sponges and blocks, which uh, you can use uh, to mould around your, like if you want a battery, you can take certain parts of the sponge out and just the batteries will slot in nicely and it'll be held firmly in place. These will greatly increase its protection capability and maximize its value in use. Uh, yeah, the mini sponge blocks have been designed, especially designed for you to make your own shapes according to your equipment. It's compact and easy to store in backpacks or carry on luggage. Uh, I've just uh, received this uh, yesterday and it cost me 14 pounds. I've got this off Amazon and I'll put a link below in the description so you can have a look for yourself. Uh, yeah, so that's the Per Gear portable protective carrying case with four sponge pieces for Fill World FW759 monitor. But like I said, you can use it uh, for loads of different monitors, not just that, or lights and batteries and stuff. So here we go. It's got, um, as you can see, it's very, very solid. Uh, it's got a carry handle so you can carry it as well. And it's got two zippers. So uh, there we go, and two zippers here. And uh, I'm just gonna open these either side. Let's open this up. So I'm not sure if I've actually packaged it right. I'm not sure which side the monitor goes in, but um, I'll pull it inside this side, which has got a uh, protective sponge on the outer. outer. Uh, it's got a little strap just for holding it in place, which is really good. And uh, a little flappy thing which goes over it and protects the screen. I've really taken some of the sponges out, but this is my um, Fill World FW760, which I use for my videos now. Uh, at the moment, it's not on there because obviously I'm using it to demonstrate this, so I can't exactly see what's going on at the moment. So I'm just going to wing it. But, um, there we go. So that's that, and that fits in in there, as you can see. That slots in nicely into the case. Put the flap across. Do the strap. And that's that's not not going anywhere also on the other side as you can see I've got bits and pieces in here it's got two zips on a, a mesh covering now I can open that up and I've got oh I've got let's have a look yeah I've got a ball head to fit uh, my field monitor onto my camera I've got a new one because the one come with my field, field world monitor was a bit crap really so I bought a new one for about I can't remember, it's about five or ten pounds I haven't tried it out yet I'm gonna try that out I just bought myself a new bendy cable, cord cable with a, a C-type HDMI to plug the Fill World monitor into my DSLR. Uh, got a, a battery, I think it's the 
NPF970, which is the larger battery, like the Sony type batteries, which is for my lights and for the monitor as well. Also, I've got the AC adapter for the, the monitor in there. Uh, microphone splitter jack, which you need to plug in to stop uh, the audio on the monitor screeching really high if it's attached to the camera. So this just switches off the internal audio on the monitor. So I'll leave that plugged in, but you can plug stuff into there as well, so that's that. And then I've got the uh, adapter that fits around the monitor for the sunshade as well. Now, that's what I've got in there, so I can carry that any, everywhere with me. But this is what, these were the sponges that was inside the case. You've got two sponges that were in here, which I pulled out to put the field monitor in. And also you've got this big bit of sponge here. And I don't know if you can see that, there's all little squares, so you can actually break them out. So if you've got a battery like this, what you, you do is you pull the squares out, make a line of squares for the size of the battery. That goes in there, and then you just slot the battery in there, and it's not moving anywhere. So that's, that's a really good thing. I'm going to have a play about with it. Like I said, I just took the sponges out for now and bunged everything in. Uh, all, all this to get my monitor up and running onto my camera is all in this one bag. And like I say, for £14 to protect uh, your monitor, that's a really, really good value. And it's solid, and I really, really like it. So, uh, yeah, so this is the Per Gear, I think it's called. The Per Gear protective case for film, mon film monitors or LED lights uh, with space for batteries um, and other bits and pieces. It's very light, durable, um, fantastic. I'll put the links in the description below. Um, yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Uh, click the notification bell for future uploads. Um, also in the corners here, I'll put um, a link to my um, field monitor unboxing so you can check that out as well for the FW760. Uh, yeah, and don't forget to subscribe, it's free. And uh, yeah, I've got more videos coming and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.